Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com Bringing you another video today. Today is a streamer pattern and today is a throwback to an old video that I've done. Actually one of my first videos uh, like eight years ago. I've been been doing this this long. It's kind of crazy. But um, this was a pattern that I used to crush fish on and I kind of got away from it and I'm getting back into using them now. I just tied a mess of them up here to to try them again I haven't used them for a long time but one of the things this was one of the flies that I used when I first started nymph fishing and um, well really serious nymph fishing I should say and before I got into euro nymphing this fly will work great on my euro nymphing technique it gives me a minnow pattern to fish deep and on the bottom so this is great fly for the Euro technique to get you down on the bottom, tight lining with the bottom. And uh, I've caught fish with it that way before. And I also catch them on the swing with this fly. It's just a great all around fly. I love fishing this fly. And you know, when I tie so many videos and stuff like that, I'm always tying something new. So I'm trying new things and different things. And I often forget about the old flies. But this was always one of my favorites. I'm going back to it now. Um, I just wanted to update the video a little bit on it. It was been a long time since I tied it, and uh, I didn't, you know, I we were learning as we went when we started the videos, and this was one of, like I said, one of the very first. So I just wanted to freshen it up, have a little bit better quality on the on the tying, and um, I hope you enjoy it. So give this fly a try. The baby rainbow is a great fly, and I've caught a lot of fish on it. So. Give it a try. Here you're going to see it in the vise and then the material list to tie it. Okay, here you see the fly in the vise. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, I am using a fire hole 718 in a size 12. Um, you can use other streamer hooks, 2220s, whatever. I just like this fire hole. I'm a barbless guy, so we're going to use it. For the bead, I am using a metallic pink tungsten bead from Nature Spirit. This is a 3.8. And then for thread, I'm using 12 watt red nano silk. And I'm just going to start that in the middle and I'm going to wrap it back to the tail. Now, for the tail on this fly, I'm going to use a medium done, um, just a hen hackle, and I'm going to strip, strip back like this, and then I'm going to pull off the fibers, and I want it to be about the length of the fly, that's going to be my tail, so I'm going to compare it to the length of the fly, and then strip back the fibers from there. I have two already ready to go here, and I'm going to use two feathers, and what we're going to do... You can see the two feathers here. We're going to put them back to back so it's um, they'll straighten themselves out that way. When you put them back to back, you'll see how they flatten out there nice. And then we're just going to even them up and I'm going to set them on top and I'm going to loosely tie them down to make sure they lay how I want and then we're going to tighten it, tighten it up. And there you can see I got them nice coming off the back right there. And we're just going to tighten this up. Now the next thing I'm going to use, this used to be marketed in the fly tying industry as Senyo's Wacko Hackle. And uh, all it is is embroidery thread. This is DMC embroidery, metallic embroidery thread. And the color is called Gemstone if you look it up online. The number on the package is 130, and I'm just going to hold that up there and tie it in on the side like so, and then we're just going to wrap it forward, and this is what we're going to make the body out of this, and you can see that it widens out a little bit and gives just a nice rainbow effect, and then just going to pinch it all together over there with my wrap and tie it off. Okay. And then we're going to cut off the cut off the ends there 
And then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to use this as the hackle on this fly. And I'm going to put it on one side and I want to go about halfway through the tail there as you can see. And I'm just going to pinch it off. Well actually the easy way to do it is bring it up under my thread. That holds it in place a little bit better to help get it tied in. To help get your first wrap on. Once you got your first wrap on then you can tie it a little bit tighter and then we're going to pull it around the other side and so what I want to do is I want to have these hackle fibers coming up both sides of my fly and then I'm going to trim the other side off to about the same length there and then finish this up by making a nice little head up here on this so now I'm about one bead length behind the bead here now we're going to attach some hackle to it for the hackle, I'm using one of the bigger feathers up at the up at the end of the hen neck, and uh, you can see how it's going to be bigger than the hook gap, and I want it to be I want to give it a little bit of body to the to the fly here. So we're just going to tie that in. I'm going to tie with the bottom side of the feather towards the fly. I'm going to attach my hackle pliers on the end, and I'm going to make about three or four wraps there. Just make nice side-by-side -side touching wraps. Try not to let your hackle twist. And if you can, pull the fibers back as you go. There we go. Once you get about three wraps on there, we're going to tie it off. And then we're going to trim off this. I got enough there. I can set that aside for my next fly. And then I'm just going to take my fingers, stroke this back, and tie these fibers backwards a little bit. All right, now we're going to come in and make a collar on this fly, finish it up. And for the collar, we're going to use some pheasant tail ice dub. You could use. Um, if you wanted to, you could use peacock curl here. You could use peacock ice dub, whatever you want to use. I just like this pheasant tail color. It blends nice with the rainbow color. And I'm going to make it a fairly big collar. I'm going to make it noticeable and tight. So there, I got about enough right there. We're going to peel some of that off, tighten it up, and then come right in there behind that bead and do my whip finish. I'd like to do, oops, I cut my thread on my bead there, so I'm gonna put another one in just for safety's sake. I like to get two or three nice good whip finishes on this fly. And then we're done. And then since it's nano silk, I'm going to use my razor blade to cut the thread. And that's all that's to it, the revised edition. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that fly. It's a really cool one. I've done real well on it over the years. And uh, it's an easy one too. It's an easy, nice looking fly. If you have the basics of wrapping hackle, and you know everything else is pretty much basic practice a little bit getting that tail straight and and you'll you'll get it once you learn to do the hackle they'll look great but um the embroidery thread in this i didn't really touch on it in the video much uh like it, i did say that it used to be called senyo wacko hackle um i don't think they i don't think they carry that anymore but all it is is dmc embroidery thread go to joann's michael's whatever your local craft store or look it up Hobby Bobby or look it up online there's lots of it out there online it's just DMC embroidery floss the color is gemstone and the number on there I think it's E130 but there's definitely a 130 in there so um, look that stuff up it's actually pretty cool you can use it for bodies on other things be a great nymph body um, actually I have used it as nymph bodies and it works real well so Pick some of that stuff up if you're at the craft store. Pick up some other colors too that you might like. So the greens work great for caddises. 
the metallic embroidery thread. Have fun tying, guys. Experiment with things like this, you know. Um, this fly, I can, I'll, I'll never forget it. I was fishing on the stream. There was a guy walking down the stream. We got to talking. I said, what are you catching him on? He showed me this fly. Never seen it before. I made a mental picture of it in my head. I went home and tried my best to come up with what he had. This is what I come up with. And I caught a bunch of fish on it. So, you know, take a mental snapshot when you see a guy fishing, you know, and he's doing well on something. If he doesn't offer you one of the flies, remember what it is. Go home and try to copy it. That's what fly fishing is all about, trying to fool the fish. So, this is a great pattern. Have fun tying it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out at me. Holesingers Fly Shop at gmail.com if you want some guiding or anything like that. Or if you'd like to order some of these flies, I sell them too. So hit me up at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. And as always, look down in the description. You'll see a whole list down there of all the materials and the links to it on our website. So thanks for watching, everybody. Till next week when I bring you another video. I'm Sean Holsinger.